from plastic eating worms to morbidly obese monkeys. This is Trending Tuesdays. A shout out going to Cactus Reptile 7 for letting us know they enjoy the content and for becoming a subscriber. Well played indeed, and we wish you the best in your studies. Hey, thanks to everyone for all the great comments and support. Cheers! Number 6. Lost Lizard Found A medium-sized monitor lizard found in Papua New Guinea was thought to have been lost from science after being discovered in 1823. Because a year later, the specimen went down in a shipwreck off the Cape of Good Hope, so it was never systematically studied. But research by a Finnish zoologist named Volta Wajola, if I got that name right, has proved otherwise. After doing some field work, it turns out the missing lizard known as V. Duara has been residing on New Ireland, a remote island of the Bismarck Islands of New Guinea. Pictures from the zoologist give a good look at the rediscovered lizard with the black colorations and yellow speckles that occur most densely in its underbelly. In another picture, you can also see the dense foliage of New Ireland where the research was conducted. At more than four feet long, it is the largest animal that is native to that remote area. God duty. Around springtime, gray whales and the calves make their annual migration. But this year, experts have noticed that a pod of orcas, or killer whales, has been stalking the gray calves off Monterey Bay in California. While the calves proved to be an irresistible treat for the orcas, it turns out they have an unexpected savior, humpback whales. They've been seen in a patrolling group doing whatever they can to deter the orcas, rushing in to stop an attack on the calves whenever it occurs. In a still taken from video shot by the Monterey Bay Whale Watch, you can see a pod of orcas on the left and the gray calves toward the right of the picture. Experts are not entirely sure why the humpbacks have assumed the role of protecting the calves, because orcas are known to prey on the calves of humpbacks There might be a natural enmity toward the killer whales, or it might have to do with the humpbacks simply trying to push the predators out of the area. What do you think? Lost from the past. Now there's not much that can bring Los Angeles to a standstill, aside from rush hour traffic anyway. But a blast from the past did manage to bring construction of an LA subway line to a halt recently. Some mammal bones that date back to the Ice Age were discovered just down the street from the La Brea Tar Pits. One of the fossils belonged to an extinct species of camel that experts think died around 13,000 years ago. The 20-inch camel bone was seen in a photo from Cogstone Resource Management. It's a combination of forearm bones that allowed the animal to support its body weight over its limbs. The other fossil is a 36-inch long thigh bone, or femur, of what is thought to be either a mastodon or a mammoth. A photo from the same source depicts two workers in an excavation pit with the leg bone of the animal, as it's being outfitted with a protective plaster cast. Both creatures inhabited what is now Los Angeles some 10,000 years ago. Plastic Diet Did you know that caterpillars have an appetite for plastic bags? Measuring about an inch, the wax worm is also known as the honey worm, and that's because it's often found inside beehives chowing down on waxy, gooey honeycombs. Scientists have recently discovered that the insects also like to feast on polyethylene, the tough plastic that is commonly used in shopping bags and food packaging, and is considered decidedly non-edible. But the caterpillars can metabolize the plastic into a compound that can biodegrade rapidly. In a picture from the Spanish National Research Council, you can see one of the insects chewing holes in the green plastic. The yellowish matter dusting its body is debris from the plastic. Experts think the unusual trait might have to do with their ability to digest beeswax. It's thought that if the animals produce an enzyme to degrade the plastic while they consume it, researchers could be able to isolate it and produce it on an industrial scale. And that is significant because the most durable polyethylene products can take up to 400 years to decompose. Tajiri. Now that word is Swahili for hope, 
a confidence, and it also serves as the name of the male baby giraffe delivered recently at Animal Adventure Park in New York, although he's called Taj for short. You can see the young giraffe with his mother April in the picture from the park itself. Since Taj still appears a bit unsteady on his feet, April seems to be leaning over to offer him some support. Of course, April's pregnancy became an internet sensation, as viewers around the world kept track of a condition via a live calm in the animal's enclosure. Now, you might have joined more than a million people who were watching when Taj was born, witnessing the delivery in full detail. At birth, he already weighed around 129 pounds and stood about 5 feet 9 inches tall. And while the live giraffe calm was taken down, park officials say a new yard calm will soon be set up so that viewers can be reunited with April and Taj. Chunky Monkey Macaque Monkeys normally weigh around 15 pounds, but a specimen found in Thailand tips the scales at some 33 pounds. This morbidly obese creature has been nicknamed Uncle Fadi by locals living near the floating market where he lives. In the photo from the viral press, it's pretty easy to see what has caused his condition. The primate is surrounded by food like sweet corn and various melons, and appears to be in the midst of polishing off a carton of milk as the picture was taken. So how did he gain so much weight? Experts say that it is not unusual for animals living in close proximity to humans to acquire our bad habits, and that includes overeating. In Uncle Fadi's case, tourists who frequent the area often like to watch the critter eat, so they freely give him treats like noodles, milkshakes, and the aforementioned corn and fruits. The monkey, of course, eagerly takes advantage of the food and goes ahead to chow down. Combined with a lack of exercise, the consumption of sugary and fatty foods has led to an excessive gain of weight, as you can see. But experts have stepped in to help the portly primate. Uncle Fatty has been moved 100 miles away to a wildlife center, and there he will be given a healthier diet as well as an exercise regimen to help him shed those unsightly pounds. This is Trending Tuesdays.